Okay, I am so sorry about that. So as I was saying, <laughs> fuck, I was on this whole roll with what I was saying. I am so sorry about that. But yeah, um, so PK made a video recently where he talked about the entire situation. He made it in like a day, and I think it's a terrible video. I think it's very bad, and I think it tries to paint me in a very bad light, though there are some cases where I can see where he's coming from. I was very mad when I got off the video, but I do want to try and look at this analytically and logically, and I want to be able to bring up the points that he actually says that are good and the points that I said that were bad, and I want to be able to look at this fairly. I don't want to just, like, jump to conclusions or anything like that. I, I saw the video. I thought it was bad. I'm going to respond to it. I was thinking of possibly making a video um, where I talked about the entire thing and what I thought of it, but I feel like I need to get this out really quickly because otherwise um, people are going to start thinking I'm trying to have this whole conspiracy theory thing because P.K. Russell actually compared me to Pentagrin, which I found... I found it really bad, but I also see somewhat where he's coming from a little bit. Um, but yeah, I'm going to be looking at the video... And I'm going to try and respond the best way that I can. <sighs> so, I'm going to try and do this. I won't be mad throughout. I'm not going to have an aggressive tone throughout. I'm going to try and do this as calmly as possible. As nicely as possible. I, I, I never... I, I did say it was... The video is called the P.K. Russell cover-up because I felt... Because I thought from the information I was given that he was sort of trying to keep it from happening from really being shown to big light. But it, apparently it, some of it was not as I had thought. Not as I had thought from the screenshots that I got and stuff like that. So, yeah. But there is also a lot of stuff that P.K. sort of twists in this video himself... I know there's a lot of twisting going on, a lot of people saying twisting is happening, but I feel like there's stuff he twisted in this video along with my words. So yeah, uh, we're going to look at the video. I'm only going to be showing the audio because I have a terrible time with video, but we're going to be making it. We're going to be looking at the video, and I'm going to be saying what I think about it, and hopefully that'll be the end. Hopefully, since Kaz, no, not Kaz, Cal, Cal, he's off. He's off the Discord. Thank fuck. He's off. But still. So we're going to look at it, and I'm going to respond to it. So let's get into it. Russell harboring a pit file in his Discord server and allowing him to run the entire thing. The short answer is yes. There are currently accusations that my ex-server admin on Discord, who I will refer to as Cal for the duration of this video, is a P-E-D-O. Never actually accused him. I said specifically I didn't accuse him. I looked at the evidence, and I thought there's a major possibility it could happen. I just showed what I saw, what I showed, and that's that was it. I ne I didn't actually accuse him, though I feel like it is getting more and more likely with the uh, evidence that keeps piling up. He's been banned from my server. He's good. gone. He's it's done. Good. He's removed. And he was removed well before this blew up into a big thing. That's the bottom line. So mm. this video is not to defend him or to try to prove his innocence. Because honestly, at this point, who knows what's true and what's not true. However, people are saying that I was covering it up and that I... At least a little bit. I thought that you were covering up at least a little bit because it was a bad situation and you were trying to keep it from going as far as it did or getting to the public eye as much. Though I, I feel like it needed to be talked about. I knew about it and did nothing to stop it. This video is to explain how that's not true. I'm defending myself. I'm not defending Cal. I just want to make that incredibly clear. Oh, yes, can people not hear me? Because if you're going to put Hold me on. in this position where I have to... I will just, um... I'll turn him down if people can't hear me. Make this video and falsely accuse me of things, you better believe... I'm getting paid for it. So let's start from the beginning. One of my Discord users messaged me on Telegram, which is reserved for my own personal use with people I know in real life, saying this. Hey, PK, I wanted to let you know an admin on your server is dating someone underage, who is also a mod, and I wanted to message you here and on Twitter to make sure that this got to you. I have proof of these claims and want to let you know before this becomes a bigger problem. And so I said, what's the proof? I'll send them. Just give me a minute. And we All right. have 12 Audio's screenshots fine. here. Some of these include contexts of conversations and might not make sense before you put them all together. But mm -hmm. basically, this is all the proof I have. 
The admin I'm talking about is Cal, and the mod is Boobis. So, in screenshot one, we have Devil Karu saying, I'm 15. Yeah. I'm Karu. If you yeah, okay. doesn't mean anything, but it's it's confirmed that this is the same person. For administrator, how long have you so short? Okay, showing the, the stuff. Same. Screenshot six, Canada says, I hope y'all have a thing today. Screenshot eight, Cal says, Karu. Be the day after 420. Screenshot 9. Cal contradicts that and says that it will be a year in April rather than a three month anniversary. Screenshot 10. Boobis is Karu. Where is this even coming from, man? Skeleton replies to Canada saying yes. And then Canada's like, what? Another screenshot here from what looks to be a different conversation. Looks to be in the general chat of my Discord server, maybe. Also, Karu, are you still planning on moving in with your BF? Polar says, so are you 18 plus or no? Deleted user, who I believe is supposed to be Karu, yep. says, yep, planning on moving in with BF. And then says almost 16 as their age. Another screenshot, screenshot 12, there's only 13, don't worry, we're almost done, is a conversation between Boobis and Texas. I think the highlight is supposed to be where Boobis says, when I'm 21, I'll be the best bartender, just two more years. Screenshot 13. I think the highlight of this one is supposed to be where Cal says that he's 22. So this is supposed to be proof that Cal is dating Boobis. Now, mm. I don't know about you, but when I first saw this, I thought that it was a complete joke. When Cal is asked how long they've been together, he says, five nanoseconds. Our our anniversary is the day after 420. He says that their three-month anniversary will be in April, but then their year-long anniversary will be in April. Yeah. The year... The thing about that one screenshot, PK, is you keep leaving it out most of the time. And the thing about that one screenshot is not only is that much more plausible considering past other evidence that there is now that, that's been shown, there's also the fact that Bubis agrees with it and says it's true there. And they're saying it in less of a joking fashion there. So it appears much, much more true than the three-month thing on past 420. And even if you would say it's a joke, you would probably say it's on 420, because then it then it's like a 420 blaze, but still. And then Boobis, Karu, Haru, whatever the hell, says that they're 16 one time, 18 another time, even if you don't believe that they're joking around. Screenshots of Discord conversations alone is not proof of anything. So I respect yeah, I know. It's not exactly proof. Well, I mean, there it is proof of a sort, but it's not undeniable proof. That's true. That's why I never actually made an accusation, but said it was substantial evidence, because I feel like it is. Responded by saying, this is not proof, <laughs> lol. Cal is clearly joking, saying things like, approx to this, it could escalate. And I said, this is clearly a joke. I absolutely do not have time have zero time for and zero tolerance for. So no, I did not believe it at first. But I do okay. want you to notice how when this person- I still think you should have taken the year long thing very seriously. And that's one of the main things I brought up in my video. There is the whole thing about how um, I didn't exactly bring him all the evidence at once. And that's a fault of me. I should have given it all to him at once, but I didn't actually have it before. The mod just, well, not the mod, the uh, source of mine. They gave me the information that I wanted well, not that I wanted. They gave me the information that was important, that was, I think, that I thought was enough proof on its own to at least spark a conversation between us. And uh, then, afterwards, after he decided to not respond and then made the video, I got even more proof, and I put that into the video. And yeah, the reason that I didn't show him originally was because I didn't have it at first, and they said they could give it to me, but I didn't want to take it first because I wanted to see if PK thought this was enough. And if he didn't think it was enough, then I would give him the other screenshots to, like, try and help the case that it's possible. And yeah, in retrospect, I should have given it to him. I am very remorseful about that. I should have given it to him sooner. That, that was my bad. I am. Um, yeah. It's true. But I didn't intentionally try to cover up anything. I didn't actually have it at the time that I gave him the screenshots or when I made... The, well, actually, I had them when I made the video, but by the time I decided to make the video, he had already made his video, and that's when I asked for the other screenshots and evidence. But yeah, I never intentionally meant to slander anyone. ...person came to me saying that they have proof and evidence. I asked for the proof. I looked at it with intent, and then, after looking at it and giving them the time of day, I said, this is not proof. Just keep that in your mind as we go through this. You know, I just wanted to check 
and see what was going on. I sent all the screenshots to Cal, all the ones that I was sent, all mm -hmm. of these. I forwarded them to him, including the messages that says some of these include contests of conversations. Those are from, we read those already. I said, I'm very confused. I have no idea what the F these people are talking about. LMAO, can you fill me in? She sent me these saying it's proof you're dating a minor. Then Cal says, they're accusing me of being a mm. Cause started the rumor in the Dig B server, which was what I was texting you about last week. But I am not dating a minor. I am not dating anyone. I'm not sure what bad blood I have with Cause, but it stemmed from his departure, which is why I texted you last week. These rumors are starting to eat away at my mental health. I'm not freaking dating anyone, much less a minor, on Discord of all places. He's not a reliable source. Him and Karu are not reliable sources because... They were showing that they had a relate. They most likely they were showing that there was the possibility they had the relationship in the chat, and then after that they showed um, they tried to keep saying that it wasn't true, so they could be most likely be in coats and therefore be covering it up together. Therefore, they are not a very reliable source, having post evidence shown and all this, thinking that it. If you think their opinion is alone, it alone is enough, then that, no. That, that, that was my entire thing with the crime thing and, like, criminal and all that. Now we'll get into cause in a little bit. Just keep that in the back of your mind. Cause. Well. I'm going to tell you to put a bunch of things in the back of your mind. We'll bring them out later. So my plan was to ignore it because I this to, to cause. me looks like just petty Discord drama. It doesn't deserve a video. But that didn't last long because you know who loves Discord drama? Commentary channels. This is the moment when I realized that this situation had spiraled completely out of control. Hey, oh, he's showing, he's showing my, showing my text to him. PK, I knows it's been a while since we've spoken, but recently I was alerted to some of this in your Discord server among mods. I was told specifically a user named King Cow who is 21 dating a 16-year-old mod named Boobis. Yeah. I've been given evidence to prove their age. Okay, he's talking into. about well, my thing. I thought that maybe, you know, he's a commentary channel. Maybe I he am had partially some new least. evidence that I didn't see. Something that proved, you know, without a shadow of a doubt that this is real. I That wasn't my intention. It was to bring it to his attention and make it so that it's known that there's a possibility and therefore it's rather frightening, is it not? You know what I mean? Rather. And I would like his opinion on it. And talk about it and jokes told on discord but instead when i said show me the evidence he showed me the exact same screenshots that i had already been sent okay. in fact the only one that he sent me that i didn't already have was this one right here where the highlight is boob is saying that they're 18 xd just stop even had the audacity to say it appears substantial to me because that's what i thought it was yeah Screenshots of jokes on a Discord server appears to be substantial evidence that someone is a P-E-D-O. Listen. You don't just claim them as jokes, all of them. Some of them do seem more like jokes, but others seem much more serious. And you should try and take them with some hint that it's possible, at least. To commentary because it's a days. serious so thing. At this point, I had a few options. I could just not respond and risk having him make a video titled something along the lines of PK Russell has a PEDO running his Discord server. You know, you could have responded to me by chat, and then if you thought it wasn't enough, which you clearly didn't think it was, I could have sent, I could have asked for the other screenshots, gotten them, and then sent them to you, and then we could have talked more about it. But you decided to assume the worst of me, thinking that I was going to do something bad. So I'm. Your own assumption of me helped make it worse. I admit, I should have sent you all, I should have asked for everything and then sent it all to you at once, but still, you assuming that is fucking bullshit. Or I could respond and explain why this is not proof that someone is a PEDO, but then I risk him making a video that's titled something along the lines of PK Russell is knowingly and willingly allowing a PEDO to run his Discord server, and he's doing nothing about it. Or, as a third option, I could just make a short video to clear it all up. Now, before doing that, I still had yet to contact Boobis, which was absolutely an error on my part, for waiting so long to do that. I will admit that. So, before doing anything else, I reached out to Boobis to see what was up. Just to make sure, 100%, that I wasn't missing anything. So, this is Boobis. Hey there, what is all this I'm hearing about you dating Cal? Oh, hi. I'm not. Kaz doesn't like me, and is what I've come to learn. Sorry you got involved, and I said, can you elaborate? I was available okay. the situation clearly looked like a joke gone very wrong to me and i thought all it needed okay 
I'm going to speed this up to two times speed just so it goes a little bit faster for everyone. Hope that's all right. It was a quick video explanation clear all up. So that's what I did. But just stop. Okay, yeah, that's that's long. <laughs> that's too fast. I'm going to go at 1.5. Still made a video, which has 33,000 views as of the recording of this video. Lose yes, it does. Situation, no matter what I choose. Now, don't worry. We're going to watch just... No. It's not a lose-lose situation. I explained in the video it wasn't a lose-lose situation. We could have talked about it. We could have talked it out if we, if you wanted to. But you decided to ex think the worst of me. Think that I was trying to start drama. When I'm not a channel that gets into a lot of drama. Despite being a commentary channel by what people call me, I'm not entirely just that. I'm many things. I'm... Not just a commentary channel. I'm a reviewer. I do other things. And most of the time, I don't... Almost all the time, I never talk about exclusively current drama and trying to get into drama circles and shit like that. This was one of the first drama videos where I talk about current drama that's happened in a long time. Seriously. Seriously. Stops video. <laughs> I'm sorry for just saying seriously so much. I don't want to come off as, like, the uh, stereotypical... Gen Zer who repeats stuff all the time. Go over it because he goes over my video in his video. Yep. So we'll be watching my video through his video, if that makes sense. But in my video, and I'm going to be I explain, do, I went over watching what that existed at the time, which was only the screenshots we looked at just now, and that was all that Just Stop had sent me. There was no other evidence at the time, as far as I was aware. In the video, I explained how those screenshots were not proof that someone is a PEDO. You still didn't mention the one year thing, though. I, f he's he's acting like it's still the joke thing and all that, but I feel like it's much more substantial. It adds much more to the conversation because they're saying it's true. Within that, I'm. I feel like that's much more substan. I feel like that's much more substantial than the other ones. And it felt like you were covering that up by not including it. So that's one reason I called it the PK Russell cover up. I filmed this video and I edited it and put it together really quickly without thinking much of it. Hell, I even filmed it vertically because to me, at the yeah, that's no excuse for doing vertical. Just tilt the goddamn phone. T tilt it. That you don't that's not an excuse for doing it vertically. Fuck fuck that. Fuck vertical. Don't uh, do it really vertical. Was just a ridiculous joke that needed a quick explanation to clear it all up. So that's what I did. I thought it was put to rest and I went to bed. Then the next day, this video appears. Is PK Russell harboring a pink file in his Discord server and allowing him to run the entire thing? Let's look at chat for a second. Uh I'm just I need to cool down for a second. I'm cooling myself down. How come you haven't covered Susie Lou? I don't know about that situation. Uh, yeah. I, I don't know about that situation. Uh, wash your hand. Oh, hope you all are having a good day. Wash your hands. All right. We can't hear you muted. <laughs> yeah, that's from earlier. What kind of mic do you have? Rode NT USB. Pretty good mic. Okay. Let's get back into it. The short answer is yes. I was just left completely speechless, dude. It had clearly been blown way out of proportion. Okay, this video isn't mine, so I'm not going to talk about it. Let's go specifically to my video. It's around here. Hours after I posted my statement. Just stop published. There we go. Something I want on or near my Discord server. Okay, so he says the statement he made on Twitter. So that's my lengthy statement. I thought it was a genuine, thoughtful statement, so I thought that would be the end of it. I thought I'd finally made clear what the reality of the situation was, and then several hours after I posted my statement, Just stop published his video, the PK Russell cover-up. Okay. That sounds terrible. That sounds bad. That sounds like I made the video in three hours, and then I, 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 I saw this thing. I, I saw his statement, and I decided, hey, I'm going to make a video on this. <laughs> and it only took me three hours to edit the whole thing and get it all together. But the thing that PK doesn't seem to realize is that videos from me take longer than his. His videos might take like a day or whatever, or even a few hours if he if he's claiming it, it, I could do it in that fast of a time. But... In my video, my video, it had extensive editing because I like to have a good sense of editing. Editing is something that I hold very true, and I want it to always look very decent at least. I want it to look nice. So it took me over a day to edit the whole thing. Also, I had to write the script. I didn't just, like, get up on the mic and watch the video like I'm doing now. Hold on. Hold on a second. Just a sec. <laughs> hold up. I am live streaming. Alexa, hang up. That was my uh, mother. In case you were wondering if I was actually 16, yeah, I get I get those kinds of calls all the time. <laughs> but yeah, as I was saying, my video took time. It took me like two or three days to make, actually. 
I got... It took a while, actually. I had to write the script after seeing the video and getting all the evidence together. I had to put it all... I had to edit the audio to make it better, make sure there aren't any big cuts or anything like that. I had to record the audio, and I had to make the video itself, which is over 20 minutes long and fully edited. So that takes a while. Also, the the rendering alone took over an hour. Do you think I could make a video in two hours of that quality? Seriously, PK. I'm not following you on Twitter. I didn't see the goddamn response. And it's good. I saw the response. I still... F I, I don't remember exactly what you said in it. You are 16, yes. But yeah, as I was saying... I didn't see the goddamn response, because not only was I not following you on Twitter, but I posted the video right after it was done rendering. I, I worked all day on that video to try and get it out as fast as possible. It still took me all goddamn day. It took me till 8 p.m. or whatever. And then I just finished, like, um, I finished editing it, I got it rendered, I uploaded it, and his response was still only three hours after my video came out he's saying it was like a full day or something like that it was three goddamn hours three and even in that response video even with that response i still feel like there was a lot that he didn't cover in that so i still felt like the video was necessary to be made and shown <sighs> acting like i saw the response and decided to make a video in two hours that's that's bullshit this live stream is taking longer than that it astounds me he thinks I could make a video of that quality that fast. Let's take a look. This video and what you've been doing can be seen as nothing less than a cover-up. Let me explain the situation and how I got involved. On PK Russell's Discord server, there's an individual named King Cal who is a moderator and basically runs the server now. There's also a user named Boobus, or Caro, who has been alleged to be dating Cal. I was messaged on Twitter through DMs by a source who wants to remain anonymous, but is a friend with many of the moderators, some of which knew this may have been happening, but didn't want to say anything thinking they'd be banned. And if you watch PK's video, I know what you're thinking, and no, they aren't Kaz, though he isn't quite as guilty as PK made him out to be. I was given many screenshots, including some from the moderator chat, and thought the info was pretty startling, but I didn't want to jump to any conclusions. At this point, my source hasn't sent me all the evidence, but said they'd be willing to if I wanted. Before that, I decided to message PK on Discord, because if nothing else, I thought he would take this seriously. Yeah, you see, I mentioned, I mentioned that I didn't get all the evidence quite yet, but I wanted to message PK before getting more and trying to see the whole, th all of it, because I thought that what I was given was enough to at least spark a conversation with him. But he decided to ignore doing a conversation and just make the video plain out, because he thought I had the worst of intentions, which I don't even know where he got that from, because... I'm not the type of person who's tr constantly trying to start up drama or anything like that. And even in my videos about him, I wasn't trying to spark drama. No. I guess he just decided to assume that about me. Even Kinda makes me sad. Even if he doesn't like me for my critical videos. He said show him the evidence, and I did. And I waited, and he never responded. This did give me the idea that something was suspicious. You've made two videos against me, dude. This is now the third. You're constantly and consistently on my ass about everything I do. So when you come to me- with screenshots of what? jokes from my Discord server, trying to tell me that as a respectable commentary channel, that that is proof that someone is a P-E-D-O. Of course I'm not going to give you the time of day. You know what? I made two videos on him, and this is the third. And with these videos, do you know how long the interval is? The first one came out around, I think, November 3rd. Second one came out January in, like, somewhere 21st or 22nd, maybe 27th, actually. But that's about a three-month three difference then the video about the one that i just released recently that came out two months ago that <laughs> no that didn't come out two months ago the uh, in relation this video that i just posted and the video from january late january that's another three months god damn I don't get on your ass about everything. Don't act like that. Don't act like I made those videos in quick succession. This has been going on for over six months. You think that you can just spin it like I'm constantly on your ass all the time? I'm not. I, I'm not. I made one video where I was still a fan of you, actually. And I watched the video. I watched the Hasman Hotel review, and I said that it was bad because I thought it was bad. And I listed out my reasons for it. And then... We, uh, we talked, we made a collab video together, and I thought that it was immense. And on January, I decided that I still had a lot of complaints about PK, so I wanted to make a final video about him, where I talked about the entire thing in... Yeah, that was the Many Faults of PK Russell video that I posted. And I thought that it was pretty good. I thought F it, that it could help PK. I thought it could help him improve, because I wanted to see the man improve. I, I had a lot... 
There was a lot of content that I actually didn't like from him, despite sort of being a minor fan of his. I'm not a, I was never a major fan. But still, I wanted him to improve, because I thought he had the ability to improve. And I complimented him in that video saying he was able to adapt and stuff like that. And then he made the video where he said that I was a vicious, drama-hungry hater. Fucking pissed me off. I, try so, I tried so hard to be respectful for, to him. I tried so hard to tell him that I actually liked some of his videos, and that I thought he had the ability to improve very well. But he just saw it as hate. Maybe it's just because he actively chooses not to see it as anything other than that. But if it is, then PK, I pity you. If you come to me with real proof, that would be one thing. You know, like, if you showed... I did think it was real proof. Not like, un not like undeniable proof, but I thought it was enough proof to at least talk to you and talk about your how you've been dealing with the situation, how you've heard about it, or anything like that, which you apparently did. But you didn't. You thought I was just trying to start up drama, and you decided to assume about me. Don't assume people's intentions. Hear them out. Me, the LOLI images. In that case, I'm sorry, I'm being very mad. I'm getting very mad. I'm sorry. Jesus. Oh, got a recent thing. Here's some lunch money, lol. <laughs> Thanks. So let's look at a few chat. Let's look at chat for a second, so I can calm down. I can't believe that a 15-year-old is more mature than an adult. I'm actually 16 now. Been for about a month. Actually, about two months. Hello, Pole North. Seriously, guys, just watch. PK is living embodiment of OK Boomer. <laughs> He's props 20. Wow, mature 23-year-old. Also, I'd like to point out there's some YouTuber named Pole Nerf's titties. Just felt that was important. <laughs> PK is really attack a minor. Um, hello, I am proud of this username. Ha ha ha. You've become the very thing you swore to destroy, Obi-Wan Kenobi. <laughs> PK doesn't act 23, oop. Does anybody think that PK is the perfect material for YouTube poops? I think so. We should vocode his response to this awesome dude to something like Ram Ranch. PK needs help. He really needs help. Oh, another uh, another thing. What are your favorite films of tw the 2010s? Uh, top film, Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse. Favorite movie of all time at the moment. Great movie. Amazing movie. Look at it. Watch it. It's great. Happy late B-Day. <clears throat> Happy late B-Day. You either die the hero or become the villain. PK, the Onision of Furries. Haha, I just got called out. It's just so frustrating that he won't be mature for once. All right. Thanks. Gonna, I've calmed down. Ready to get back into this. Then I'd be totally on board with having a discussion. And that's what I thought you were going to do. Because I thought you were smart enough as a commentary channel to not make accusations. If you wanted to have a discussion, you would have responded to me when I when you had the chance. You didn't. The video that you posted is proof that you didn't want to have a discussion with me. You thought that I was going to do something terrible immediately just because I was a commentary channel and because I made a few videos on you. You immediately expected that I was going to do something terrible when you shouldn't expect that of people. I I specifically tried so hard. I, I know I keep mentioning this, but I tried so hard. I really did, guys. Stations without absolute... It makes me sad. Proof. But when you sent me jokes told on Discord and claimed that it was proof that someone was a PEDO. It wasn't just jokes. It was more than that. And it seemed enough to at least spark a discussion. I knew you were just trying And you keep repeating yourself, so I keep repeating myself. To stir up drama. So no. I never stir up drama. I've never stirred up drama ever. Never. I've never tried to. I've never done it. I don't like to get in drama. This this whole thing, I don't like being I don't like being in it. I never wanted to be in it. I I don't want to be in drama. That that time I messaged you, I wasn't expecting there to be a huge drama. I wasn't expecting any of this. You think I wanted to be in a huge drama because of this? No. I honestly don't care. Well, I wouldn't have if there wasn't the possibility that he was a map and trying and with a minor. If I, if that wasn't happening, I wouldn't care about any of this. I, I find it a terrible situation, and I wanted to see what could be done to try and help it, and you are one of the main people who can try and help. So I went to you, and you assumed I was trying to do something terrible. So you made a video before hearing me out. So that you can make a video about this. Because making an anti-PK Russell video gets all the views. No, well, I mean, t technically, they, they these videos are getting a lot of views, but maybe that's because people are just waiting for someone to call you out because you do a lot of 
bad shit. Like the ass pick. The ass pick is one of the major things. And... <sighs> and that's exactly what you did. And that's exactly... I didn't make the video for views. I didn't make that. He mentioned me and made it obvious it was me. So I decided to talk about it publicly. Not only because he mentioned me, but because I thought the situation was bad. And I wanted to talk about it and show my evidence for it and the new evidence that I recently acquired from my source. Tell you what happened. And my source informed me he was planning on making a video addressing the situation. I didn't expect him to mention me, but I did hope he would address all the evidence I brought to him, though it wasn't all that I could give him. I'm sorry, say that again? But I did hope he would address all the evidence I brought to him, though it wasn't all that I could give him. In context, it wasn't all that I could give him because I myself did not have it at the time because my source didn't send it to me yet because I didn't ask for it. Which I should have. I should have asked for it. But I thought we could have had a discussion beforehand. But he decided not to. He decided to make the video instead and jump to conclusions. So you purposely withheld valuable information. No, I didn't purposely withhold valuable information. When he when they said there were extra screenshots and stuff like that, I thought it was a small amount. But right after your video was released, I asked for the screenshots and they gave them to me. And it was more proof. And after that, they kept on sending me proof because they kept on looking for it and finding it and stuff like that in your Discord servers and such. I didn't withhold information. I got it after you decided to not hear me out or anything like that. If you said that's not enough, even if you just sent a, vid a, a single text message that said that's not enough proof, well, I would have went to my source and asked for more. This isn't just my fault that I didn't give you all the information at once, though I definitely should have. That's my bad. I didn't withhold the information from you, though. I didn't. Interesting. Keep this in your brain as you watch through this. That's when PK did something I wasn't expecting him to. He said that the claim was untrue, showed only two cherry-picked screenshots to fit what he was saying, and called any commentators that reached out to him vicious and drama-hungry. Because you only sent two. You only showed two of them. You only showed two screenshots, when you should have shown all of them. At least. <sighs> sorry. Getting angry. <sighs> Calm down. I'm sorry. If this isn't spinning a narrative, I don't know what is. The title of this video? But please... The title of my video is not... No, it's not spinning a narrative. Because from what I saw, it seemed like somewhat of a cover-up with you withholding some evidence and not showing it all. That was the main reason for why I called it that. Just go on. I'd love to hear how I was spinning a narrative. You called out Pentagon and stories for cutting out context, right? Well, this is kind of hypocritical with the hundreds of messages you've deleted right after this video went up. I did not delete any of those messages. Those are both deletes. If you just included a little more context, mm -hmm. you see that it was Dinobot doing the deleting. Uh... The screenshot that I got didn't say it was Dinobot. I don't even know what that is. Yeah, despite being on Discord for a long time, I still don't know about the bot system or anything like that. I barely was able to make the Discord server that I got. I don't know much about those things. And I'm guessing my source didn't either. But yeah. And that the PK in the picture are my server. Actually, hold on. What is Dinobot? Dino. Could someone tell me what Dinobot is? What are the Dinobot commands? Let's see here. Commands Dinobot Discord home. Add a new rank for a member. Join leave a rank. Get a list of joinable ranks. Delete an existing rank. Get a list of servers. Get information about a role. Let's see here. Miscellaneous. AFK. Let's see it. Let's see it. Chat. What does Dinobot do? Dinobot is a bot that allows you to mass delete stuff. Huh. It allows you to mass delete stuff. Hmm. What does PK say about it? Server icon and name, not my own personal name and icon, even though they are the same for both my personal profile and my server. I set up Dino to remove spam and prevent... You set it up. ...prevent raids. That's all the bulk deletes are. As a okay. So you're saying it bulk deletes raids and it bulks bulk deletes spam and stuff like that. But according to Chad, it allows you to bulk delete other stuff. You can mass delete stuff with it. I've done it before. That's from Nani. So you're... What the fuck? Okay. That was a scream of rage. But that's what I feel right now. So you can mass delete stuff with it. And PK says he's the one that set it up. So he's withholding information. The fuck? 
he's actually withholding information here. Either that f is able to mass delete messages, however, they need a command to do so. So someone needs to give it a command to delete all those messages. It just makes it easier than clicking single messages. So PK easily could have done this. Wow. I wonder where, I wonder why he didn't mention this. Ugh. As a commentary channel, I'd expect you to know the basic functions of Discord. I'd expect you to know, apparently. I didn't know what the bots were at all. But apparently, other people know more than you do. Or, you do know, and you're not letting- and you're not giving us as much as you're letting on. ...and bots associated with it. You can even see here that when a user specifically performs an action, it always has their hashtag and their numbers right here. Dinobot always includes that. If it's a server action, there is no hashtag, because it's the server. Okay, it did not have a hashtag. So, I- okay. Alright, that makes more- that makes sort of more sense for what he's saying, I guess. All right. Okay. But I still don't know about Dinobot, so I'm not sure. I don't know. I think it can be automatic if you set it up to do so. Hmm. All right. So it's sort of iffy if he could have done it. So I don't know. So you want to say that I I'm getting a lot of messages. Hold up a second. I'll be right back for a sec. Yeah. <laughs> Shit, eh. It is nothing. Let's look at chat for a second. I wonder if a bigger YouTuber would cover this. Maybe memeology. Hmm. I'm cutting out context. Compare me to Pendergrin, and then immediately cut out context to make it look like I deleted hundreds of messages in my Discord server. When Wait, how does it cutting out context to say that you probably that you? I thought that you did delete it. And I didn't know about Dinobot. And it's still possible, apparently, that you could have deleted it, possibly. I, I still don't know myself, but you're saying that you need to have the actual tag for it to be manual. So, yeah, there's the. it's most likely that you didn't delete it yourself, and I apologize for that. But I didn't leave out context. That's how I got the screenshot. And it could have easily been misconstrued as you doing that. So maybe you should try and be understanding. When really it wasn't... Even in the last video, I tried to be understanding of you. I tried. And actually me. You know, you want to talk about cutting out context. I need to stop saying I tried. This is a great example of you doing exactly that, which is what you just said was a thing that Pentagon did. Now, Pentagon, if you don't remember, was someone who accused Spockter, another YouTuber, of, you guessed it, being a P-E-D-O. She made it look like it was completely true. Oh, hold on. I just got it summoned from my source. Me and my mod have been looking into Dinobot, whereas Dino can delete things it cannot mass delete without a command. Huh. Well, then, that... Seems a little suspicious. Hmm. By cutting out context, removing context, hiding things. That's the story behind that. That's exactly what Just Stop did right here. Right after saying that I was doing that. I'm sure it has nothing to do with the situation. You're saying that I'm leaving context out. No, I'm not. This, this is what it looks like. Also, you can see that hashtag log thing there. So if Dinobot was up in the corner, that wasn't it. That I showed the entire length of the screenshot there. I didn't get these myself. I got them from my source. And they seem to also believe that this is also proof, and it might be, apparently. Considering to bulk delete, you need to be able to do it through a command, and that seems plausible, because how would a, how would you be able to easily tell what's spam and what's not, and what, how to prevent raids and stuff like that with a bot? You would need to command stuff. Even though, even though it happened only two hours after the video was posted. It doesn't have anything At to least I think, from what I'm hearing. No, it happened just a couple hours after I posted my video. Because it's been happening the entire time I've had Dinobot in my server, which is from the beginning. Here mm. it is happening on April... 11th, way before this situation was happening. It happens every day on my server. You can go to any day and see the same thing. I cannot okay. believe that none of these people called you out on this. You're blatantly lying to me. Hmm. Maybe it's because I'm not blatantly lying. If if I am wrong, it's because I was ignorant of the situation. But apparently in chat, people are saying that I have the right to be suspicious and that there is most likely a chance that this happened. That this actually happened. I'm not slandering you. I never would want to slander anyone. I, I've built my entire brand on not slandering people. Obviously. <laughs> but yeah, I'm not trying to do that kind of thing. Not at all. Make me look bad. It's plain and simple. Let's take a look at his video and see everybody messed up on, cut out, twisted, and everything in between. Now, I gave it to Cal because he's always been one of my most loyal viewers, always been one of my most loyal moderators. He's been a patron of mine. He's always been a huge help. And I've had many moderators over the years who are like that as well. And another one of them is named Kaz. 
Kaz yes. was also a runner up to be in this position of Kaz. The only problem is that he would always say edgy stuff. He would always push the line just a little bit, a little bit too far. Oh, an update on the Kaz situation. I got some of the messages he got from my source. And yeah, they're not as bad as he put them out to be. Not only that, but my source also gave me some of the other conversations that were going on in PK's Discord server that just happened on the norm that weren't banned at all, or anything, or even talked about. It, so yeah, let, let's read some of these. Let's see here. Here's the thing itself, just so you can see. Yeah, we know. Racism isn't gender discrimination. What? Wait, what? No shit, Sherlock. Gender, that's sexism. They're on other shit. You, you're gay? Gay. OMG, who said gay? It could never be me. Bye flag waving behind me. Ha ha ha. I'm Asian. Let me eat some dog. By the way, dog is yummy. It tastes like beef. Yeah, you see, these are edgy jokes. <laughs> these are obviously edgy jokes. And PK didn't delete these. Or cow. This goes on every day. Let's see. Here's another screenshot, just for people to see. I don't even eat normal bits. I just say bacon, cheese, and toast. Do I have cheese? Flat out, don't remember. Not like other dogs. Okay, F face. Mm, dogs more like, oh, God, please stay away from Asian country. Yeah, yeah, you, you get what this is about. Okay, another one. But it probably won't happen for... It's just... Uh, yeah, it's it's just more edgy stuff. You can find this if you just look on the server. Oh, I got a message request. Okay, I'm I'm <laughs> something else. But yeah, I mean, Kaz was no different from any other people. In fact, he was less edgy than some. And I think PK shows some of the things that he said. And yeah, they're edgy. But there's even more edgy on the server on the daily. Point where it started to to break the rules, you know. So shortly after I make Cal the admin, Kaz decides to go into another YouTuber's Discord server and start spreading these rumors. You might as well just say it. You don't blur out that this came from Digby's server. I saw the name from your screenshot. You should be more careful. I mean, you're not wrong. Okay, so at least for one thing, he said I was right. So let's look at the proof. But we don't get to see it, PK. Canada asks, how long have you and Bob been together, oh, Cal? Shit. Cal responds. Hold up a sec. I need to plug this in. Plug it up. There we go. Nice. Hasn't been long. And then continues to say, it has been approximately five nanoseconds. Boobis, the person who King Cal is allegedly dating, says it's been longer. It's like our monthly anniversary thing today. Then Cal says our three month will be the day after 420. Now, I don't know about you, but to me, that sounds like a joke. The nanosecond oh. thing does sound like Hold a on. joke, but the, our anniversary a, is right after 420. Eh, got a message something here. Been watching both sides, and I'm going to say I don't think he's aware of what's going on. PK isn't on the server much, not going to lie. Also, the situation's been taken care of. Why are you blowing it, making it worse? What? Because I think he's portraying me in a really negative light here, and I want to clear up things that he said in his video, including stuff that he himself got wrong. That's why. And he does seem to know about the situation, it appears. The line doesn't appear that way. Not only that, but I sent him another screenshot that he, for some reason, decided not to show. Yep. Cal says, it's going to be a year in April. You got it right, finally, you big stupid. Time flies. You're right, I didn't show this screenshot, because I was trying to get this out fast, and this screenshot added nothing to the conversation. Yes, it does. It adds a lot to the conversation, PK. Uh, uh, sorry. Because it's more serious than the other two. Even by those standards, it's much more serious. It's saying, like, yeah, it's been a year. Yeah, you got it right, big stupid. True, time flies. So yeah, they said it was a year in April. That doesn't seem like a joke. It seems much more serious than that. And the fact that you cut it out and you're just saying, I was trying to get it out for time. And you know, I, I, I didn't want to show it. I didn't need to show everything because it's not relevant. Every screenshot is in some way relevant. And not showing it is considered cutting out context. That's one reason I did the video. What, what exactly does this add? You know, in hindsight, I should have I just all said, 13 screenshots. But remember, at yes. the time that I made this video... Just like in hindsight, I should have gotten the other screenshots from my uh, source, even though they didn't have all the ones that I showed in the video because they kept on getting them more and more as it went on. But still, I should have got. I should have asked for the extra screenshots that they had just to make sure, e even though you didn't respond to me and all this. That, that, yeah. 
So in my mind, it was people trying to accuse Cal of being a PEDO based on jokes. If you look, Cal says our three month will be the day after 420. But in the next one, he says it's going to be a year in April. How can you have a three month and a one year anniversary in the same month? Yep, you see, and Boobus confirms that that's the right one. So even if the three month thing and it's after 420 is a joke, the one year thing is confirmed by Boobus himself. So that makes it automatically less of a joke. To me, it was just more proof that this was ridiculous, that this was a joke. I just wanted to focus on the most important evidence. This one adds nothing to the conversation. Other than it that, does. we have Boobus has... or Keru saying in these instances, Cal keeps me up at night. He's a bad man. No, I love him. I give him tough love. Cal's mine. I'm gay for Cal. No, I'm taken by at King Cal. At King Cal, love you. Good luck being the new overlord. And in this screenshot, it appears PK was participating in the conversation, so... We got him, boys. PK Russell's harboring a PEDO. Jesus Christ, dude. Oh, my God. And after he... I never said, I, again, never accused him. Said this was a lot of evidence that it could lead many people to coming to a conclusion, but I'm just saying I never accused him. And I said it specifically in the video, I'm not accusing anyone. It's moderator role, Booba says, at King Cow, grats babe, at King Cow, help daddy, Cow is my bee, ooh ooh. If this is all a joke, that's a damn long joke Booba has been playing all this time in so many instances where it could come off as not a joke. You're right, so where are those screenshots in here? Okay, I already explained. Not only did... Not even my source actually had all of the screenshots yet. They were still compiling everything. But still, I hadn't gotten them all because I they said they could send me more, uh, but they didn't want to, like, spam my inbox or whatever on Twitter. And I thought that what I had was enough to at least spark the conversation. But apparently not. Didn't even try to respond. And yeah, it's still my fault. I should have tried to get... It's still partially my fault I should have tried to get this stuff, but you shouldn't have assumed I was trying to do something terrible. That's like, don't always expect the worst in people. Where did you send me those screenshots? That's a lot of context to leave out. You called out Pentagon and stories for cutting out context, right? Oh, I see. He's doing the repeating thing. You, context. you withheld from me 80% of the... I did not withhold. I didn't actually... I, I've explained this, you know. You used in your video. Don't you think that I need to see that, you know, to make a... You, yeah. You should see it. It's true. A conclusion. But I did hope he would address all the evidence I brought to him, though it wasn't all that I could give him. Why would you not give it all to me? We'll come back to that. Keep I that mentioned in mind, it. Dude. If the relationship is true, this makes sense. The younger party is usually told to keep the relationship a secret because it's forbidden love. But Boobus is talking every so often about it. King Cal isn't as much because he knows it'll set off alarm bells. I can't prove anything for sure. I'm sorry. Say that one more time. I can't prove anything for sure. You can't prove anything for sure. Okay. Now he's showing a picture of the title. What I meant in that context was I can't prove anything for sure about the relationship. I can prove for sure most of the stuff I can mostly prove for, I can mostly prove for sure about you and what's going on here and you not showing everything even that I gave you and such. Yeah. But you're flat out accusing me of covering up this entire situation. You're covering up at least a few you were covering up I thought you were covering up at least a few aspects and I don't feel like I was doing it in a rush is a good excuse. This video and what you've been doing can be seen as nothing less than the cover-up. How can I be covering up something that you're not even sure is happening yourself? I'm talking... As we're going to see, you're going to spend the rest of the video. People can be unsure about a situation that has a lot of evidence, and it, the evidence can try to be somewhat covered up. Yo, accusing me of covering all this up. Don't you think that's a bit Pentagon-like? I mean... Oh, you're comparing me to Pentagon now. Oh, God. You and Pentagon have slander oh, God. That's for sure. What? I'm not trying to slander you, Big A. No, no, don't eat, don't. Sure. But if you want to take anyone's word for it, why not Boobus and Cows themselves? So I was curious after seeing that, I was like, yeah, that definitely sounds like a joke, but is there more to this that I don't know? So I messaged Boobus, and I said, hey there, what is all this I'm hearing about you dating Cow? Oh, hi, I'm not. Cows doesn't like me, is what I've come to learn. Sorry, you got involved. And I said, can you elaborate? And Rubus said, I just joke around about it in the server, just like everyone else does with each other. I think he took it the wrong way. It's confusing. Cow's just a friend of mine. See, the way I read Cow's messages were exactly how it's described here by Boobus, him or herself. Yes, the cherry pick screenshots you took that weren't all of them, nor did they show all the evidence. Because you didn't show all of them. You showed two. Hmm. Well, you mean the cherry pick screenshots that you sent me? That No, they weren't cherry picked. They were the, all the ones that I had at the time. I sent them all. Wasn't all the evidence? But I did hope he would address all the evidence. Just the ones I brought to him, though it wasn't all that I could give him. Because I hadn't asked for the ones that the ex I thought you were just extra. Most compelling pieces of evidence. Stop saying I purposely withheld stuff. I didn't. I say in the video. It's from me. And Boobus confirmed that it was a joke. What did Cal say? I reached out to Cal as well. I covered both. Yeah, the, here. it's not substantial if you just ask the two parties who are thought to be in a relationship if they're in a relationship and they say no because they can obviously be in cahoots together and obviously just coordinate to say that no, it, it was cause.
here on Telegram just to protect our identity. Uh, she said, I'm very confused. I have no idea. WTF these people are talking about. LMAO. Can you fill me in? She sent me these saying it's proof you're dating a minor. So someone sent me all those screenshots that we just looked at. And I just, above here, I sent those screenshots to him. And I asked him to explain what the hell that was about because I wanted to know. And he said, they're accusing me of being a elk. Cause started the rumor in the which is what I was texting you about last week. But I'm not dating a minor. I'm not dating anyone. I'm not sure what bad blood I have a cause, but it stemmed from his departure, which is why I texted you last week about these rumors are starting to eat away at my mental health. I'm not fucking dating anyone, much less a minor on Discord of all places. So that was the entire evidence that was all of it so you talk to the people who are supposedly in the relationship who are now trying yes. to cover the relationship and said. because you got their opinion that solves everything getting the other side of the story is very important but in this specific scenario it might be better not to take their words so easily hey oj simpson did you murder your wife no <laughs> well i guess that solves it no evidence required you're just kind of throwing out the words they are covering up their relationship in no i well yeah i'm saying i'm no i'm saying there's the possibility of that and you shouldn't take their words so easily because there's the possibility of that. Instead of they might be covering up a possible. You still have yet to actually prove this. I I've shown a lot. I never I I say in the video I can't prove without a shadow of a doubt that it's true, but I can show you what they said and I can show you what what has been said and I can show you as much as possible, as much evidence as possible. And I've gotten even more evidence recently that I could show, including the lolly stuff. But I <laughs> yeah. Also, you want to bring up O.J. Simpson? It's not even comparable. It's what? I wasn't actually comparing the actual O.J. Simpson trial. It could have been it could have been any trial, any any criminal case, Jeffrey Dahmer, anything like that. I could have I could have put anyone in. I just thought of O.J. Simpson. the The basic idea of it was just, "Hey, criminal, did you do something bad?" He says, "No." Then they just let him off scot free. That's all. You don't need to go deep into this. Like I'm being really literal with it. Trial. There was bloodstains, gloves, mountains and mountains and mountains of evidence. In this situation. There's a lot of evidence here now, isn't there? The evidence is jokes told in a Discord. Not only. Server. Not even comparable, you're just being incredibly disingenuous. I'm not. That's, that is literally it. There were a few more screenshots that just show that Cal is 22 and Boobis is like 16 or something. That yeah, that... Yeah, you should have shown those and the others. Everything. You should have shown everything. That makes it seem like a cover-up. That's accurate, which I'm telling you, yes, that is accurate. They are a large age difference, but literally all we have to go off of is those Discord messages. Yep, all the evidence. No more. What evidence? They're just confirming their ages. There's no screenshot where Karu or even Cal contradicts themselves. No, no other evidence. Stop looking. It's done, okay? Yeah, that's all the evidence you purposely withheld from me. I didn't purposely withhold it. I'm getting tired of saying this. Me, So it's, it's nowhere to be found anywhere in here. Jesus. I mean, this is just ridiculous. This is ridiculous. You know, it seems to have all come from cause. Remember the runner up to getting the admin position in my Discord server, who I ended up not giving it to. I went with Cal instead of him. Oh yeah, that Kaz guy. Both Boobus and Cal mentioned him as the source of everything bad and the one who originally started telling it to people. He must be a really bad guy from what's to be believed. I've actually gotten to talk to Kaz. He seems like a pretty decent guy overall, in general. I can read some of the messages that we have together if chat would like after this video is done. And I don't think that he liked the way that Cal was running things because Cal was not as edgy as he was. Cal always took it way too far, was pushing the line of ex extremely offensive, always. Yet there's much worse on the server every day. He was always mm. causing problems in my Discord server and Cal put a stop to it like he should have done. That's what his job was. And I think that Cause did not like that. Blaming someone else for everything happening as if there isn't evidence. No, it's more like as if the evidence are jokes told in a Discord server. There's more than that. And Cause was trying to talk to you about it and you blew him off as well because again that's all there was at the time that i made my video and doing so to discredit the entire situation is petty drama among server leads huh it is petty discord drama i can't even believe i have to make this video no when i say petty drama among server leads i mean like oh i don't like this person so i'm gonna accuse them of something and it's not just that it's much more than that you could still technically consider it petty but i feel it's a serious situation if it is actually happening if this relationship is really happening yeah that's what I meant. Before he left my server, these are the types of things he was saying. I just think we should be more pro-free speech in order to be a more desirable server to more demographics. Joke included in free speech. I don't want to see this place turn into some place that censors the word, that word, and progresses to banning cuss words altogether. Now, the reason that he's saying this is because Cal was removing messages where he said things that were way too offensive because he was crossing the line. There is more offensive, and I just showed him. I showed him already. I, I think that made him just incredibly upset and angry, and I think that it made him not only angry but salty that he didn't get the admin position on top of, you know, being quote-unquote talked down to by the person in power. So you're saying your server doesn't promote free speech? And if he was saying so much offensive shit, you need to provide that. Claims without receipts don't hold water. You should know this, PK. Claims without receipts, like the title of this video? I, I showed receipts. Right here? But you want some more examples? This is literally the most recent message he sent on my Discord server. Okay, so it's a it's a thing saying Animal Crossing fans when they see an unleaped dog. So yeah, that that is a edgy joke. It's edgy, sure. But PK's made edgier, honestly, when you think about it. 
He named his fursuit Cam. And he's shown the ball pick and stuff. You think that's not edgy? He's defended saying the N-word in a comedic context. You think that's not edgy? Seems hypocritical to me. Here's another one of his messages. Here's a conversation that he had with Cal himself. That shows that Cal was trying to put a stop to what Cause was doing. Notice the date is March 27th. That's very, very important. Keep that in your mind. Here's more for you. Okay, this is one that says, Trans people, when they make another awful trans joke for the 348th time on Twitter, and it's a ape gif of them, like, doing the, this this thing, like a dance of, of uh, you know. But I, I don't even see that one as too edgy. There are a lot of trans people who make a lot of bad trans jokes about how, you know, this, the uh, cis white, cisgendered people are always terrible and stuff like that. It, it is edgy, though, yeah. At least somewhat. Where King Cal found this. So you see what I mean by he was always pushing the line and that Cal had to put a stop to it. So he left and took it to another YouTuber server to try to get everyone in that server against me and my friends and my admin. Try to get everyone there on his side because he was salty. Well, the actual screenshot says I left that place after I got my messages deleted because I was saying the admin was dating a minor. Not only that, I have the original message Kaz sent to PK through my trustworthy source with connection. It goes as follows. I'm contacting you here because it's been easier so far. I really didn't want to bring this forward or dump it onto you, especially during these stressful times. I don't know if you're aware, but Cal has elected a new moderator who we have proof of being an alt of an old account that was the center of some minor dramas in the past, but that doesn't matter at this point. What does matter is said person claimed to be 16 last year on their old account. The new account is them coming back and saying they're 18. They even admitted to seal now known as Echo to being the old account who commonly went under the name Karu. I'm not accusing Kyle of anything. I just don't know if he's aware that Kaoru is lying or not, and I know they're in a relationship now. I also believe they didn't get moderator for the right reason. They aren't often active, and as I've mentioned before, have been in some slight drama. They go by Boobus now, or something, but a bit ago went as Lil Rue. If you want to talk further on this, either message me on here, or preferably Discord, since I'm more active there. Have a good night. PK responds, I don't care about any of this drama, and I will not participate in it. That's why I handed the server over to someone else. If you have problems, talk to Cal about it. You've been causing a lot of problems lately. Get it together, or you're banned. Stop talking about moderate related stuff in general chat with no mods. Stop saying things like humor is slowly going to be restricted. I don't have time for this stuff, Kaz. See, he brushed Kaz off. He brushed him off, said, I don't I don't have time for this. I, I gave the server to someone else. I don't care about it. D possible relationship between a minor and an adult. Not, not important. Not important. It doesn't matter to me. I gave it to someone else. Stop giving me stress. Now let's give Parker the benefit of the doubt. He hasn't seen any of the screenshots yet and sees this as some petty drama. Yes. Even yeah. in that situation, it okay. would be much better if he decided to hear Kaz out at least. Maybe the problems Cal put a stop to possibly had to do with him trying to tell people in general chat about what was going on. Just a thought. And it's true that maybe the problem that Cal put a stop to was Kaz spreading all this info in the general chat. Or maybe it was that mm -hmm. he was an actual problem. You know what I No. You're showing the same screenshots from before. They're no worse than others that are on the general chat and other chats that are much worse than his. I mean, saying things that way push the line, even pushing it for me. And once again, you haven't proved anything. It could just be that these are all false accusations. I've shown a lot of proof. Well, well, I've shown a lot of evidence, at least, that could make it come to the conclusion from their own words. Still, and I don't know about you, but I would remove false accusations and people who make them from my Discord server. Another person gave him screenshots. He said this isn't proof, lol, and mentions the same two screenshots specifically he mentioned in the video. Because it's not proof. We looked at this earlier. I feel like it is at least somewhat and why I said that. Another possible bit of trickery I found had to do with another admin named Jocko. Jocko was the first one to tell everyone in the moderator chat that Kaz was spreading this around, that it was untrue, and that he brought in people from the Digby server. In the mod chat, one asks, Wait, I thought they were dating. Or am I thinking of someone else? Said it all on Digby server with no proof. They both told me they were not dating. I know Cal is dating someone. Cal told me he is single. Really? Huh. Guess he broke up with his BF or something without me knowing. So the admins know that Cal was most likely in a relationship, and there are all these screenshots showing the two interacting like such in a chat. So yeah, like, that that's my thing. They say they... There's a lot of screenshots of them interacting, and even more where they're saying, like, love you, and stuff like that in the chat. I'll, I can show a few screenshots from my phone if you if you guys want me to. Hold up a sec. I just got these yesterday after the video already came up. So, like, look look here. What's up, SMH? Love you, King Cal. He is sliced bread. Wait, I mean, Boobus is literally sliced bread. Everybody know. Give me that. Uh, he's my BF. Mine only. Sorry. See? Look. Here, here's one where he's specifically saying he's his BF. This is on the 25th. And let's look at those messages. Yesterday, huh? So, <laughs> around the same time, I would think. So, it seems very plausible that they saw him talking like this a lot and thought, hey, that must be his boyfriend, because it possibly is. Damn, this joke must be really good if even the moderators can't tell the difference. Over the time I've known Cal, which has been about a year or two, he's had one girlfriend and one boyfriend that he's talked about when we've talked in voice chats. Neither of them are mods. I didn't find out for months that he broke up with his girlfriend, and I didn't even know Okay, him. but he's talked a lot with Cal, with, he's talked a lot with Karu in chat. A lot, in fact. 
had a boyfriend until all this was happening, who he is no longer currently dating, by the way, but he did have one. He was always confusing with his relationships. He didn't share that stuff publicly too much. But he did here. The mods were confused as to whether he was in a relationship in the or not, possibility. because I wasn't even sure. No one was really sure. The reason that I'm telling you about all this, I was going to just ignore it because it's complete bullshit. It's stupid. It's the most ridiculous thing ever, and it doesn't deserve any ounce of my attention. But I'm telling you this because I've had commentary channels contact me about this, sending me the same screenshots, saying things like, we believe this is substantial evidence that your, your admin is a... Now, I'm not going to show you what they said. I'm not going to show you DMs. I'm not going to tell you who they are. But these people are some of the people who have made some of the most popular anti-PK Russell videos on YouTube. And they're really out here trying to tell me that this is proof that someone is a cult. No, PK. I'm telling you this is evidence. And this and this and this and that and this and that. A whole bunch of things, PK. Well, you certainly weren't telling me that when you sent me all the proof. Because none of what you just showed... Well, I mean, I meant that in the context of the video now. But, yeah, there was still the evidence that some of the evidence that you chose not to show. The screen was sent to me by you. I will not say that it's true without a shadow of a doubt. I won't accuse anyone. Then what the hell is this? I meant by accusing anyone, I meant of dating a minor. Not not you. Just stop. Seriously, if it's not true without a shadow of a doubt, how can you po I'm not talking... Uh, wait, possibly claim that okay. I'm covering up something that you don't even know is happening. Well, I have a lot of evidence that would say it's most likely happening, and it seemed like you were covering up by not showing everything that I did send you, even though it wasn't everything that I didn't, that I myself did not have at the time. So yeah, it seemed like you were covering up stuff. Also, there was the bolt delete thing and all that. So it did seem like it does seem it did seem like covering up. But despite that, you decided to still slander my name. All I'm doing not slandering you. Doing is showing you what PK lied about, what the mods themselves said, what Kaz actually said, and much, much more. And PK, I know by saying anti-PK Russell videos, you're trying to tell people the videos have nothing to them and they're just hate, but I'm honestly insulted you would call my videos that when you reacted to my first and said it was civilized. I'm insulted that you'd withhold crucial evidence from me. I didn't withhold it. I explained... I've explained this. ...that I need to fully understand the accusations. I but I'm sorry. I should have asked for more, even though they themselves... The source themselves didn't have everything compiled yet. I should have, I should have asked for it. But you should have responded to me, at least trying to give me a shot. I'm insulted that you'd flat out lie several times in the video, saying that I was mass deleting Discord messages when it wasn't me, it was a bot on my server. There's still the possibility that you could have been doing that, or not. I'm not entirely sure myself. I can't completely claim that, though people in the chat are saying it's possible, and you need to do commands and stuff like that. So I don't. I don't know. Personally. Deleting spam. Lying and saying that I'm leaving out context when you- I can admit that I don't know things all the time didn't even give me the context to begin with. I'm insulted that you're saying many times that nothing can be proven without a shadow of a doubt, but you're still falsely accusing me of covering it up nonetheless. All your videos about me have been this way. You always fit Wait, what? This reality so far. Out context when you didn't even give me the context to begin with. I'm insulted that you're saying many times that nothing can be proven without a shadow of a doubt, but you're still falsely accusing me of covering it up nonetheless. All your videos about me have been this way. You All my videos have been swayed. All of them, really. You always twist reality so far to get your point across that I'm this evil, terrible person. No. No, I don't. Did you even watch the second video that I made? This seems like bullshit to me. I smell the distinct scent of bullshit. I never try to make you out as evil or anything like that. I try to make you out as maybe misguided. Someone who was making content that wasn't great but could be improved very much so because you had the potential to do so and you had the energy and such. I never called you a terrible person in those videos. I never tried to sway it that you were terrible or anything like that. I said I had respect for you. This... This is a narrative. This is a narrative you're setting. This can be proven without a shadow of a doubt. That you're... You are saying something that is blatantly untrue. And it pisses me off. And people clearly believe every word you say. You know why? Because you're a commentary channel. Because I'm a commentary channel. That's why everyone believes me all the time. Well, no. I try to make it so that my points are good and valid. And people can identify with them and make sure that they're right. But even sometimes I get called out for having bad points because sometimes I don't have all the evidence. Sometimes I don't have everything down packed. And that's true because sometimes small bits can be left out. So I put disclaimers and such in the bottom part of the corner of the video and such like with Jocko. I, I talked to Jocko and uh, I saw the only iffy part of the video was with Jocko and I saw that he didn't actually really know too much about the situation and thought that Cat cause was just calling pk out not pk calling out cal without actually showing evidence or anything like that and he thought that he just needed to get it to the chat he was good intentioned and so i put that in the video because he talked to me and i got to know i got to know that <clears throat> but yeah and also with, with my recent lego ninjago video i realized now it wasn't good i tried to make it a more jokey video but still several of my points were bad and a lot of people 
got on my ass for it. It may have mostly just been the Ninjago fan base, but still. And yeah. Commentary channels are always right. It's ridiculous. This is not I don't I don't think that. Third anti PK video. You're supposedly planning a fourth. Not anymore. This is enough. Which is gonna be more proof that Cal is guilty. Honestly, I have no idea whether he is I I I'm saying it the the proof that I've shown is more that he's possibly guilty, not that he is guilty, because I'm still not accusing. Or not. What I'm, I'm just showing the evidence. That you're saying that I'm somehow responsible for all of this. When I'm not even involved. I didn't say you were responsible for all of this. I said you were responsible for possibly covering up some. All the situation, saying that I'm covering it up. This is ridiculous. This is not how I wanted to spend my Saturday night. You know what I mean? Especially during a fucking global pandemic, dude. I cannot believe that people are trying to do this during a global pandemic when the last thing we need is stupid drama like this. It's stupid. Yeah, this is stupid, PK. I didn't want to spend my Saturday night looking at this either, especially with your maximum brain power portrait mode video. Also nice. Once again, trying to divert people from the situation where a 16-year-old might be with a 22-year-old by bringing up COVID. Classy. Once again, what do you mean once again? Have we have I done this before with coronavirus? No, no, no. I meant in the context of the video. Yeah. I meant in the context of the video, you are diverting the situation from the, this possibly happening by first saying that Kaz most likely brought it up and it was just like dumb server drama and stuff like that. And then secondly, trying to divert it by saying, we shouldn't be doing this during a global pandemic when everything is stressful and such. It just feels like you, you diverting the situation again, like you're trying to cover something up. So what you're saying is that me saying that we don't need any drama during already difficult times somehow means that I'm diverting attention away from the situation. What on earth? And in response, people are probably going to say, oh, well, why don't you just remove Cal's power, Parker? Even if it's not true, that's just the safest route. You're right. It is the safest route. But you know what makes me different from other YouTubers is that I have, you know, dignity. This coming from the man who posted a certain pic to Twitter for his thousands of kid followers to see and still hasn't taken it down. You know what it is. I know what it is. Let's move on. I'm sorry. Is this about Cal potentially being a P.E.D.O. or is this about me? Well, you brought yourself up. So, I decided to roll with it. If it's... N it, I, I brought something up about you when you brought yourself up. You said you had dignity? Why'd you post the ass pic? It's, that shows a distinct lack of dignity, honestly. Who had nothing to do with the situation. Just to enlighten you, my ass is what I posted on Twitter. Yes. And I do it again. You do it again. Really. This is the PK Russell channel. This is not Sesame Street. I got my start on YouTube by reviewing Cuphead P-O-R-N. Yeah. You know what else you made? Gotcha Live videos. You made Nintendo videos before that. You do a lot you do a lot of kid friendly stuff. You review animation memes. Don't just talk about the cringe series. Talk about all the other series that obviously attract kids. Talk about all the times that you've said you know that kids are watching your videos. Talk about the times where kids have messaged you their animations and said rip this apart. Talk about all of that shit. Because a lot of kids watch your videos, and it's proven in your own videos with the animation meme review, because there are kids who say they're kids and they want you to review this terrible thing, and you mention that they are kids, because a lot of kids watch you. This is easy to prove, man. And I've been doing that the entire time I've had a successful YouTube channel. He points with his clicker right under the Minecraft animation meme. My content is clearly and unquestionably intended for adults. Not unquestionably in all circumstances and also still when you just put cringe in the title that doesn't necessarily mean just for children i mean just for adults cringe is an inherently childish word something that children and teens use so yeah you'd think that something called uh fortnite cringe parents upset about fortnite fortnite cringe or cringe cringe or delta room cringe those are topics that kids like so you would expect a lot of kids to go to it and it's also a complete flat out lie that my Oh, he's showing the demographic argument. Listen, demographics don't mean shit on YouTube. You can easily fake your age on any circumstance, easily. Do you think that the 15% of your audience is 35 to 44 year olds? Do you think there are a lot of Gen Xers watching your videos or Gen Yers or whatever? Why would, why? Do you think there's like 7% of, 8% of people who are between 45 and 54 watching your animation meme reviews? No, you need to take those demographics with a slight hint of salt, just a little bit. Because most people lie about their age on the internet. The audience is made up of mostly children. One look at my analytics, you'll see the number one biggest category is 18 to 24 years old. Second largest category, 25 to 34 years old. Third largest category, 35 to 44 years old. Fourth largest category is 13 to 17 years old. I, I still think, I think for any circumstance, YouTube analytics are terrible for telling actual age. Because people can't believe proof when it looks them in the eye. People it's not 
people look at these analytics and say, well, they could be lying about their age. There's most likely lying. They're most likely lying about their age because people who are between the age of 13 and 18 can't watch all videos because of restricted mode and such. So they would try and bypass that by doing saying they're older. It's easy. You can lie about it really easily. Prove it. I have actual analytical proof that a huge majority of my very very flawed, easily fakeable proof. Proof, quote unquote. You want to know proof? How about the proof of all the videos, it, your all of your videos, where you talk about kids who are sending you animation memes and such? There are plenty of kids. You talk about kids so much. You talk about all of their dumb animation memes and all their bad and stuff like that. You you talk about kids so much, it's going to attract a lot of kids. You talk about Gotcha Life. You've made at least 12 Gotcha Life videos. You, you talk about that, you're going to get a lot of kids because kids make up the majority of the Gotcha Life fan base. Most of your topics, even the cringe ones, are going to attract a lot of goddamn kids. You can't deny that. Audience is not underage. You have your belief that some people might be lying about their age. Show me proof or sit the fuck down. I mean, you said yourself. Claims without receipts don't hold water. You should know this, PK. So where's those receipts? Just stop that my audience I just mentioned them. Everything I have completely goes against that. No, even if there were children watching. Everything being one statistic from a really flawed system. Really incredibly flawed system. My content? So what? My content is very clearly intended for adults. Not in all circumstances. Only in some circumstances with the cringe videos. There are many more than just that. And the cringe series is a small portion of all your videos. There are plenty where you barely curse at all. And you talk about gotcha life, goddammit. That seems like something that kids would watch. If you think with the, all the content you're posting that mostly adults are watching that, you're fucking insane. Most of it is kids. Most of it's kids. If children are watching my I don't see how adults would want to watch some of the videos that you make, goddamn. My content, it's not my response. I just said that, yeah. Responsibility, it's their parents. Children watch P-O-R-N. You can't stop children from watching what they want to watch. But what you can do is make your content geared towards a certain audience. And mine is geared towards adults. But you mentioned kids so many times, even on your Twitter. You've, like, retweeted 15-year-olds and such who mention their names and their fan art for you and such. And yet you still posted this to Twitter where you knew people who were underage were following you. Even if it's like, oh, well, I can't restrict them from, I can't keep them from seeing stuff like that. Well, you can keep them from seeing your own stuff if you know there are people who are that age following you. Anyone. If there is even one person who is doing that, who is following you, including me, 16. If, you are fo if there are people following you who are underage, don't post that picture. It's morally ambiguous and seems unethical. Or morally bad, at least. James Charles, Ethan Klein, in response to James Charles, Kim Kardashian, and in the furry community, Leo, Corey Coyote, they've all posted their ass on Twitter, all of them. H3H3 is really, really adult. Kim Kardashian, really, really adult. These are really adult figures. You are not them. Don't act like you're them. Not a single one of them has been bombarded with think of the children. It's literally only because it's me that people are, are mad about it. I'm it's not just because it's you, PK. It's not just because it's you. Don't act like, don't have this massive ego like, people are always trying to cancel me because I'm just a good guy and they want to take me down. No, it's not like that. Tired of it. Go fuck yourself. I'll it's of your own ass, doing. Post my ass, dude. That has nothing to do with the situation at hand, by, by the way. We're but you mentioned, you know what makes me different about other YouTubers? I have dignity. So I brought up something that shows you don't have dignity. Talking about whether or not Cal is a P-E-D-O, not, not about me posting my ass on Twitter. Then don't talk about how you have dignity. I have respect for people. I'm not just going to remove someone's powers because they were accused of something with zero substantial proof. That's not how I work, and that will never be how I work. No evidence. It isn't their brain. Let's move on. And I still think, even if there was no evidence given to you at all, you should have temporarily... JS is raising his voice, damn. <coughs> yeah, and it's hurting my voice. But you know, when I, get, uh, when I get mad, I get mad. I'm still trying my best to not get too mad. Unmodded him just to be safe. You can temporarily go fuck yourself if you think that's the correct option. Want to treat people with dignity? How about the many kids in your Discord who are possibly at risk? The possibility yeah. alone should be enough. It isn't not treating people with respect. It's being safe for your fan base. Yeah, I still agree with that statement. Yes, my fan base made of entirely children. Absolutely. Stop showing the YouTube statistic. It's one of the most flawed systems for showing things like age, because it's so easy to lie about, and it's been proven time and time again. You have tons. <coughs> of kid followers, and many of the topics you choose are things that attract kids. How about this? And you've mentioned <coughs> that a lot of your <coughs> fans are kids. It's hurting my throat. I'm actually getting a throat aneurysm because of this shit. Stop. You get a new job somewhere. You're doing just a fantastic job there. Everyone loves you. You do a great job at your work. But you have one customer one day who, for no reason, just decides to accuse you of murder. 
because they don't like something that you did. Okay, so let's say that you go to this job, and you have a good job, and then someone accuses you of murder, and they say they found footage of you from last night where you were by a person, and they found that there was a flip a, a flip knife from, that wasn't bloody, but they found a flip knife from you behind the dumpster where that same person was, and on security cam it cuts out before you actually walk up to them. You can't... There's a small window of error there, but there is definitely a possibility so that would be something that people would worry about, people that people would care about, and that would make f people feel endangered and not feel safe to do their work, so they would put you on temporary leave while people are trying to figure this out. You know you didn't murder anyone, and you know you did nothing wrong, but just... You want to talk about bad comparisons? This is a bad comparison. To be safe, your boss furloughs... You're just, you're just doing it in a scenario where there is no evidence whatsoever. When there is. Until they find out the truth. Not paid. That's what you're describing here. Anyone can say that no. anyone is a P-E-D-O. If I temporarily unmodded people just because someone accused them of something, that would be ridiculous. If someone didn't like you, all they would have to do to remove you from power is just accuse you of something. One day, just stop. You're going to be accused of something that you didn't do. Hmm. And it's going to be something terrible. And everyone's just going to blindly believe it because you're an influencer. It happens to everyone at some point. You're not going to be able to convince everyone that it's not true. You'll feel terrible. You'll wish you had a friend hmm. like me who can say- I'll never wish I had a friend like you, PK. Yeah. I'm not going to wish I had a friend like you. I'm not. I'd like a friend who isn't you. Everyone innocent until proven guilty, which is what you should do in every circumstance. In fact, if you don't do that, I think you're—I think that you're a bad person if you don't—if you don't do that. As okay. I said in my video, now would I remove him if there was actual, real, actual proof that, without a doubt, proved that he was dating a minor? Of course I would. There's—I won't say it's irrefutable. I'll never say it's completely irrefutable, but it's pretty substantial. Of course I would. That's all I was asking for. Real proof. And guess what? And I gave some. Now, because of the LOLI images. That's good. all I was waiting for. Was there something like It's good. It's like good. That. He's gone. You didn't even mention one time in your video that I had removed him. You just kind of ignored I didn't mention him because by the time that you made the statement, I was mostly done editing. I didn't see it because I wasn't following you on Twitter. There was no video that you made. How could I have known when I wasn't even going on social media at the time? You act as if I had this malicious plan and that I made it in a few hours. I didn't. Not at all. Not at all. That. You know what I mean? I'm just asking for real proof, not discord jokes. And because I say that, I dare to say that, I get dragged into it, and now all of a sudden, I'm harboring a P-E-D-O. Because you took it so lightly, if you had taken it slightly more seriously with the proof that had been given, the evidence that had been given, you can't just, you shouldn't, when there's evidence given that it's saying, like, our one-year anniversary is soon, and then the other party says, yeah, that's true, and they say, yeah, time flies, and they say, yeah, true. Then that's something that you should take into account. That's something you should be slightly worried about. At least a little bit. And covering it all up. Do you understand how stupid that is? Now, would I remove him if there was actual, real, actual proof? Explain it again. Without a doubt proof that he was dating a minor? Of course I would. Of course I would. But I'm not going to remove one of my good friends from these powers just because a salty person who didn't get the admin role on my Discord server spread rumors without any substantial proof. I'm not going to do that. That goes against my values. I won't say this is undeniable proof exactly. But you are, by saying that I'm covering it up. You didn't say that I might be covering it up. You said that I am covering it up. That's straight up slander, especially when you've admitted in the videos that you aren't sure whether it's true or not. I'm saying more in the terms of the actual, like, possible... It's... It very much appeared like you were covering it up. Much more so than even if the, uh, peop if the people were possibly dating. But it could be seen as pretty substantial, so if you don't remove... If so, I'll put a question mark at the end of the video. Because, yeah, there d there does seem to be stuff... Uh, there does seem to be a little bit that points to it not being a cover-up. Come from the top spot of mods after this, mad disappointment. I removed him several hours before you posted... Three hours. When I didn't watch... When I didn't follow you on Twitter. When I didn't know about it. This wasn't malicious. I never tried to be malicious your video but you just conveniently left that out which is leaving out context which is something that you have accused me of doing but you've done yourself countless times in this video like a certain person named pentagram how many times don't that compare that me to pentagram you also include the statement that i made even though it came out hours several hours before you posted your video. a few hours before i don't follow you on twitter man i don't constantly look at your twitter feed i don't constantly look at twitter feeds while i'm editing it takes several hours for me to edit during that time of like 5 45 or whatever which I, I just checked the time a little a little while ago before I started stream. During that time, I was editing. I wasn't take. I wasn't checking Twitter. I wasn't looking specifically at your Twitter either because I didn't know if you were going to make a statement or anything like that. I didn't even know a video came out before mine, or anything like that. Seriously. Video. Because mentioning that I removed Cal from my server and mentioning the statement that I made makes me look too good. No. It's a great thing. 
I'm glad you decided to take him off of your Discord server after seeing all the proof and such. That's very good. I would have mentioned it if I knew about it. It's a good thing. And I applaud you for doing so. Still, I didn't know about it before the video came up. And the video was made over, the video was recorded over a day before you posted that statement. You gotta leave it out because you want your audience to think. I don't want to leave it out. I don't want to leave things out. Ever. For someone who claims to be all about context, there sure is a lot of context missing from your video. Just stop. At this point, there sure is a, a lot of context li from this one. Context missing from this one. <laughs> You're the only one sounding like Pinnegrin in this situation, dude. To sum it all up, just stop. Falsely accuses me of deleting messages in my Discord server, which it wasn't. It was a bot deleting spam. Claims that I'm leaving out the key proof, despite him purposely withholding that key proof. Not purposely withholding. From me, and then trying to use the fact that I didn't know about that key proof against me, even though he never sent me the key proof. Right out accuses me of covering up this situation, and the list goes on. All these commentary channels are trying to come after me because someone else was accused of being a PEDO. And it seemed like you were trying to keep it from being a big thing, and it seemed like you were keeping evidence from the people. It's insane. We live in a scary world where people will just believe everything a commentary channel says, without question. Just as we saw recently with Some Ordinary Gamers and H3H3. If you don't know what I'm talking about, Some Ordinary Gamers made a video accusing H3H3 of donation shaming Jeff Bezos, among several other things, and then H3H3 was forced to clap back with a video destroying literally everything that Some Ordinary Gamers said. I'm not gonna lie, when I saw the Some Ordinary Gamers video, I fell for it too. He had me convinced that Ethan Klein was an evil, terrible person. Wasn't there things about how the Ethan video was wrong or something like that? I forget. I feel like there was like a big clapback to the Ethan video. It's like everyone hates Ethan or something like that. I forget. I never saw it. I don't know the some ordinary gamer situation. Hold on. Let me check the like to dislike ratio on that video. I'm just going to check to make sure PK isn't living, leaving out any context here. Uh, H3, H3 Productions. Oh, it's called Everybody Loves Ethan. Yeah, let's see here. Mostly likes. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know for sure myself. It that might be true where like someone was saying something that was false about Ethan. It's a, that's entirely possible. I haven't seen the videos. I don't know the context specifically. I saw like a few minutes of the video. I didn't actually really watch the whole thing or anything like that. I didn't know what it was about. I just saw the parody thing and decided to click off because there was something else I wanted to watch. Right? But that's just because commentary channels, I don't know what it is. They have the ability to just manipulate everyone's minds into believing something that isn't true. I don't... I would never try to manipulate people. I don't want to manipulate people. I never... No. This is a huge problem with commentary channels, and it's frankly toxic as hell. People just believe everything they say if they people say will believe people are believing what you say in the comments. Definitely enough. Just stop as some ordinary gamers in this situation, and I'm I am not some no. The whole point of this video no. was to get Cal removed from my server, which happened several hours before you posted your video. You didn't even mention it in your video. I didn't know. Ugh, I'm getting angry. That was the whole point to begin with. You just ignored it because you wanted that sweet anti PK Russell commentary money. You know what I mean? No, no. I mean, you post the video was actually demonetized, so. Wasn't doing it for the money. This is the video anyways, knowing full well it would damage my reputation. No. When I'd already taken all the actions you suggested that I do in this video. Well, actually, it might have, yeah, I, I could see it damaging your reputation, but for re for just reasons. For some just reasons. Before you even posted the video, I did it all. I would have, and I, I mostly, but I mostly did just make it because I wanted you to get rid of the guy. He was gone before you even posted your video, dude. I've been slandered what feels like a hundred times in my YouTube career, so it's nothing new to me. But this one is by far the strangest one. It makes the least sense to me. I had literally nothing to do with this. Someone else was accused of being a PEDO. Somehow it's all falling on me now. I, hadn't it didn't, I didn't say it was all your fault, PK. I never said that. Nothing to do with this. You cannot just... You had something to do with it. ...say PK Russell is harboring a PEDO and have it be instantly... Never said that specifically well, myself. myself. I removed him from my server. I don't know what else you want me to do. This is the last... No, I'm, I'm glad you did that. It's good. Last I'm talking about this situation, it should have never happened, and as usual, I'm not even- And you're trying- and you seem to be slandering my name with this, and I'm not gonna let that stand. That's why I'm doing this, like, live response. And there are some things that you may have been perfectly right about, like how I should have sent you everything that I could have gotten. That's my bad. But still, you assumed I was doing something bad, and didn't even give me the time to respond. And the one- To- to respond to me. Who started it. Thanks for watching! So that's the video. I guess that's all. <sighs> so that that was the thing. I hate being in drama, but yeah. It's happened. 
I'm so tired. So tired. <sighs> let's um let's just read some chat. I'm so tired after this. I just want to calm down, read chats. Video is bad. Mostly, at least. You got. And the last thing I'll say, PK, you did get yourself lumped in when you made the video. When you made the video defending Cal and such, you got yourself roped into it. It's not. Oh shit, someone. There was a wreck outside my house. Everything's just going great right now. Well, not a wreck, a small wreck, but still. Fucking goddamn. That's shit. I, I feel in pain. I feel pain. <sighs> Have you seen the Kiwi Farms thread on PK? No, I haven't. No, I haven't. My voice it just wants to stay quiet right now. It just wants to stay, stay still. I feel... I, I feel drained, emotionally drained from this. So, yeah, let's read some chat. You guys can ask questions. I'll wait for them to flood in. For the moment, we can just sit in silence for a minute. Meditate. Be really calm. I'm on a beanbag chair, so this is easier to cross my legs and stuff. Be calm. Okay. So, um, how are people doing during quarantine? Um, let's read some chat. Let's see how everything's going. How everything's going for everyone. Because I care about my audience and I want to know how you guys are doing. I'm doing fine. Uh, you said we were gonna have messages from Kaz. Can we see those? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure, we can. We can watch. We can see some of the messages from Kaz if you want. Whew. Gotten over twenty plus messages on Twitter, probably for someone related to this. Sorry to message you now, but PK really ignores the fact most kids lie about their age to access restricted videos, but since the analytics say it's mostly adults watching him, it means they are completely correct in his mind. By the way, this Leo and Corey guy PK mentions posted their pics on an AD account. This is also from uh, Kaz. So thanks for mentioning that, Kaz. I mentioned it myself. <sighs> okay. Let's look at some more things. Let's look at more messages from Kaz. Let's see here. Okay, so here I got Kaz's story. So let's read this off. I'm not trying to be an anti-furry here because I'm not. Most of my friends themselves are furries, but something seemed different about Parker when he got the first suit of his. I and a few others silently talked about how it's kind of disrespectful to name hours of work a w the word come, but apparently the suit maker was fine with it, according to Parker. I think I started wanting to distance myself from him a bit around October after his Hasman Hotel video. I became less and less active in his server as the server itself became less and less active. I wish I could get proof of this, but I've since been banned, most likely, but anyway, I remember once I mentioned the server was dead, and I got told off for it and told I shouldn't say that in general chat for some reason. I missed a lot of events in the server since that, and it was a rather stagnant, uneventful time, I'd say. Then, as we all know, on New Year's, the infamous pick was sent out, and we know pretty well by now that it's not well received. Oh, I got a, a donation, 10 NZ. Don't worry, dude. Keep up the good work. Thanks. I'm not trying to be pity. I don't want people to pity me or anything, like I'm some fallen war vet. <laughs> Just tired. 
but thank you, Gassy Gasly. Almost immediately after this, a user and fellow mod and friend of mine who got the fe who goes by Feeding Fox, I don't know if they want to remain anonymous or not, spoke out about this tweet to PK. But before he did, he asked to be demoted in PK's server for... Uh, did I get something else? Uh, no. <laughs> I'm just checking chat. I had a K if they want to remain anonymous or not, spoke out about the tweet to PK, but before he did, he asked to be demoted in PK server for he didn't want to be a moderator anymore, and then he was kicked and banned from PK server entirely. Also, this doesn't mean much, but the ban wasn't even logged, if I remember right. Fox then went into a server meant for friends with many others in there to ask for an invite back to PK because he thought he was just kicked. PK then proceeded to get angry over text with him, and I have proof of that. Also, there's still more sorry for the wall of text. Note the screenshot I'm about to send aren't necessarily relevant now, but it helps explain my reasoning for wanting to dissociate with him. I'll admit Fox may have been wrong in a few aspects, but I think PK's response was a bit uncalled for. Okay, I got them all if you want them. As I said, what's being shown isn't relevant as as it's just showing off Parker's reaction. Anyway, adding to this, something in fe sometime in February, PK uploaded the video of him playing with a tentacle thing and bad dragon lube. This was the point I genuinely started distancing myself. <coughs> I believe either sometime in February or March I left the server, but got messages by people including to come back, so I did. I was there for a few more weeks when I was approached about memes and humor that was deeply offensive. And yes, I do admit some of it may have been pushing the line, but other ones were just memes. After I got scolded by the admin for this, I stayed around for a bit longer, but left a few days later. A few more days after that, I heard Boobus got moderator, and just as you know me, and others have been on to Boobus and Cal's behavior at that time. Uh, out of the frustration, I said some things in the other YouTuber server, not knowing what I said would be used against me in the future. I was just frustrated, and things escalated from there. I can elaborate more on the escalation if you'd like. I asked, um, I asked him to do that. And so he said... When I got reports Boobus got moderator, I went immediately to Parker and told him I don't think Boobus is mod for the right reason. And you've seen the rest to watch to which he responded. He didn't have time for any of it and basically told me to buzz off or I'd be banned completely. He was at the time someone else I know approached PK also and gave him the screenshots he needed to which he replied it's a joke. It was at this time I wanted to let the situation die, because at the time I realized no one will get through to PK, and so it did die for a few good weeks, or at least a few good days. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention. Uh, Kaz actually tried to drop it for a while. He tried to drop it, and he got frustrated and said something in the server. Um, it was at this time... I have screenshots also proving that he tried to drop it for a while. Okay, hold on. I realize no one will go through, so yeah, other than that, a few, and then that's how you... Other told... Okay, so here we go. I realize no one will go through... Others told a few others, and they often do, and that's how the information got spread to you. Now, this other PK mod that made a video I've known for a good while, too, and after that was uploaded, my DMs are filled with screenshots from mod chat about PK Russell wanting screenshots from the other YouTuber servers, which I had recently become mod in even... In there, even... I was aware who was coming, Jacko, the one dude you talked to, and that's when he got screenshots of the other YouTuber server. This then reported to PK, and I got screenshots of him saying he's going to make a video, to which I almost panicked. I tried to reason with PK on Telegram, but he gave me one res response before just ignoring me entirely. And this video, and this video is uploaded here, and here we are today. Also, I'd like to add there's even a screenshot of me stating I wanted to let the drama die down, but Parker left that one out, of course. Can you show me? Let me get it. Okay, here it is. Trying to show it in my shitty camera. Basically, it says, uh, no, there, you daters, at, um, at, basically at him. Until you get evidence, you can't call him a blank if you're unsure he's aware. Yeah, I'm just going to drop it, to be honest. Never mind. It'll come out on its own. Uh, and I asked him, do you think Jocko has a grudge against you? Slightly. I'm not saying that 100% is motive for following PK's demand so keenly, but it would make sense if there was some grudge considering recent events, but as I said, that's not his complete reason. PK purposely hid screenshots from him and other mods misleading them. Kind of like a cover-up. Uh, purposely misleading them... I mean, one reason Jay had to believe he may have had something against me just JS how, is just how much he uh, helped cement the fact that Kaz bad in PK's mod chat. 
So you don't really blame him for what happened, is what I asked. Not completely, but I do believe it was a factor in his keenness to get the screenshots for Parker. Those are all the messages I have between me and Kaz. <sighs> so that's everything. I hope this is the end. I feel like it isn't, and I'll be more tired. Oh, Jocko is saying me and Kaz are good now. It's nice. It's good. I feel like this won't be the end of it, though I would like it to be the end. As I've said, I'm tired. I'm going to go to sleep. No, I'm not going to go to sleep. I'm probably going to stay up and watch anime or something. But yeah, this is my response. Hope you guys enjoyed my response to PK's video. Bye. Gonna say goodbye. Let people in the chat say their goodbyes if they want. All right. It's nice to know you guys are supportive. It means a lot to me.